Welcome back to the Online Education Success Series of the Explorations Learning Network. I'm glad to see you dropped in today because we're going to be taking a detailed look at managing time for your online class. Hi, I'm Avi Anderson and this is the Explorations Learning Network. In the previous episode on time for e-learning, we discussed the fact that e-learning classes, although convenient, are not easier than traditional face-to-face -face classes. In fact, many students report online classes taking more time to complete than traditional classes. A typical college-level online course will require anywhere between 4 and 15 hours of your attention per week to complete your assignments and may last as long as 10 to 12 weeks. There are two critical steps required to managing your time for an online class. Balance the time necessary to successfully complete the work required for your online class with all of the other activities in your life. And create the ideal space in order for you to get online and do the work. Check out these other episodes for more information. Time for e-learning, participation, and doing the work. Let's take a closer look at the e-learning activities that require your time. They fall into three categories, attendance, participation, and assignments. Many online colleges and universities require that you spend a specific amount of time attending class each week. This is more than just logging in. In most cases, you'll need to substantially participate in the class for your attendance to be counted for any particular day. For example, you need to either turn in an assignment or you need to participate in a chat room or forum discussion with either your instructor or other students. Remember that getting online is critical to your attendance. Most online education providers will not excuse your absence from class based upon computer or internet failures. Be sure to have a backup plan for either of these two possibilities. You don't want to fail your class because you couldn't get online. In addition, it's always a good idea to make sure you've met the minimum weekly attendance requirements early on in the week, just in case life gets in the way. The most common way that attendance is measured is through your participation in chat rooms and forums. Posting in a forum usually requires you to respond to discussion questions posted by the instructor or the responses of other students. These responses have to be substantive meaning that they need to address the question and be of a certain length. You can't just say something like, I agree. You actually have to let other people know what you think. This dialogue can take time. You'll need to read posts in the forum and decide which one you want to respond to. Then you'll have to figure out what you want to say in your post. Chances are you'll need to make several posts to your forum during the week for you to meet your attendance and participation requirements for the class. My favorite way of learning is when everybody gets involved in a group discussion. Trust me, you'll have fun. The bulk of your time will be dedicated to completing your assignments. There are all kinds of assignments that will require your time, including researching, writing papers, creating presentations, completing online activities, taking quizzes and exams, and working in learning teams. You can bet that a large portion of your time will be spent on conducting research so you can write a paper or create a presentation. Online activities like games, crosswords, and other puzzles don't take as much time to complete and they can be a lot of fun. As long as you're reading your ebooks and the other materials assigned to you by your instructor, you should have no problem passing your exams. Finally, if your class requires you to work in a learning team, just know that there may be less work involved researching, writing a group paper, or creating a presentation. However, you will most likely spend more time discussing these activities with your teammates. As long as you manage your time and keep life in balance, you should have no trouble devoting some of your day to successfully completing your class. Here are some tips from the experts. Check your class at least once a day. Always read the forum posts and messages from your instructor. Avoid procrastination. 
If you can afford it, buy a tablet. It makes it easier for you to complete your reading assignments. And keep a calendar of the activities for your class. The Explorations Learning Network is a production of Clark College and is sponsored through generous donations and the support of students and faculty. Mark Gaither is our producer and director, and this episode was sponsored through a Department of Labor grant administered by the Washington State Workforce Training and Education Coordinating Board. The Workforce Training and Education Coordinating Board is a partnership of labor, business, and government dedicated to helping Washington residents obtain and succeed in family wage jobs while meeting employers' needs for skilled workers. I'm Aviance Anderson for the Explorations Learning Network, advancing learning for the information age.